Before we get into the video, I have a huge announcement to make. Finally, it is ready. You guys have been asking for this for over a year, and now it is ready. We all know that it's impossible to achieve financial independence without learning how to invest. That's why here on this channel, we've made for you a ton of investing videos. But for many of you, that's not enough. You need a simple step-by-step -step guide. You need someone who is experienced in the stock market to take your hand and show you how everything works, from how to read financial statements to different investing strategies, which is what this course is about. I have taken everything you need to know together with my 8 years experience in the stock market and turned it into a simple, straightforward, animated course. At the end of the course, there is going to be an assignment that you have to complete, which I will personally check and provide you with feedback. The first thousand of you who are going to click on the link in the description will get 2 weeks of Skillshare Premium and will be able to watch the course for free. Yes, you heard that right. You have the chance to get the course for free. Don't miss it. And now, let's get back to the video. In 2017, the top 8 richest men became wealthier than half of the world's population. Imagine 8 people having more wealth than almost 4 billion people. That's a whole different level of inequality. And this year, that inequality got worse. The number of billionaires on Forbes 35th annual list of world's wealthiest exploded to 2,755, 660 more than a year ago. Altogether, they are worth $13.1 trillion, up from $8 trillion on the 2020 list. 2,755 people have an equal wealth as the entire GDP of China, the most populated country in the world and world's second largest economy. Most of the wealth is now tied in the hands of a few people. And that's not by accident. Most people are not financially literate, since that's not something we are taught at school or by our parents. We're just expected to be good with money, just like that. I know that it sounds silly, but that's why most of us are doing so terrible financially. That's why most of the wealth is tied up in the hands of a few individuals. So here in this video, we are going to do something to fix that. We are going to take a look at money lessons that people learn too late in life. We're not talking about basic concepts such as inflation or compound interest. We'll dig a bit deeper and find out lessons that if you learn earlier in life, you're probably going to be on the right side of the world, on the wealthier side. So if you're ready, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to check out our second channel called Bloom, where we also post videos about investing and money, but also about other things that you will find interesting. If you enjoy this channel, you will definitely find our second channel interesting. So go ahead and subscribe. And now, let's get back to the video. Number 1. Be an outlier When I got into investing for the first time, I started with trading. I would use all my knowledge to analyze a certain company and I remember I invested $300 into that company, all the money that I barely saved in the last few months. Imagine how nervous I was. Right after I purchased the stock, the price started falling and I got even more nervous. I was looking at the screen and counting every dollar that I was losing. But I decided to hold, at least for another day. The next day, the price fell by 20%. So I got out and made a loss. I lost pennies back then, but even $50 was a lot of money to me back then. But I decided not to give up and gave it another shot. Unfortunately, I lost again. That's when I thought that investing isn't for me. That's what happens to a lot of people, including myself. You try something once and compare yourself to others who are much more successful in this. And you say, maybe this is not for me. Maybe I should try something else. But the reality is, you can literally be good at anything as long as you practice it enough. In fact, that's how the idea of the 10,000 hour rule has emerged. If you put 10,000 hours into anything, you're guaranteed to be good at that. And I can say that from my experience, because after many years of investing and learning, I began to understand the market and started making much better investing decisions. And that's what people don't realize early in life. They jump from one thing to another, thinking that's not for them. They're not good enough and perform poorly financially, when in reality, 
all they had to do is to stick to one thing long enough to become financially successful. Number 2. Wealth can be created out of nothing. When you grow up in a poor family, you live in a world of scarcity and limitations. There is only so much of everything, including wealth. If I am going to be rich, then someone else should be poor. We are poor because other people have more than they should have. And that mindset literally pushes you to fight for what's already there instead of creating what isn't there. Most of the world's richest people became so wealthy by not competing in the same traditional industries, but went on to create new industries that weren't there in the first place. Elon Musk is probably the best example, who literally invented an entirely new industry called aerospace or electric cars. In fact, all the companies he started, PayPal, the boring company, SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, are all about creating something new, solving a problem that isn't solved yet. That's why his net worth is around $150 billion. It's not just about him. Every successful business is about innovating something new from Airbnb to Uber. Even smaller companies like Robinhood or even Angry Birds, they added value to the world in different ways. They didn't take anything from anyone, they just made the world a better place and got rewarded for that. So stop thinking that you are poor because someone else is rich and start thinking about how you can add value to the world. Number 3. The Paradox of Choice If you're like me, then you hate going to restaurants. Because every time I go to a restaurant, I would take a look at the menu and I would get frustrated by the number of choices they have. I would end up spending more time choosing what to order instead of actually eating. I've already spent the entire day taking decisions and I came to a restaurant to enjoy and not paralyze my brain again. And that's known as the paradox of choice. Having a lot of choices might seem great, but it has its disadvantages as well. In fact, it's actually one of the main reasons why a lot of people can't excel at what they do and achieve some level of financial success. Take an example of investing. The market is filled with opportunities from tech stocks to biotech companies to cryptos to other financial instruments. But because there are so many of them, you can't choose to stick to one of them. As soon as you get deeper into one of them, another one hits the news and before you even understand what's going on there, cryptos are all over the news. So you end up just following the news without actually taking action on any of them. A lot of people criticize Warren Buffett for not investing in tech companies early on or avoiding Bitcoin, saying that he's an old man who's not catching up with the world. But that's not the case. He knows that there are so many opportunities, but he also understands the paradox of choice. The sheer amount of choices will get him to nowhere, so he's just focused on one sector, on a sector that he excels. That's why his net worth is over a hundred billion dollars, while well, those who criticize him don't even have 1% of his net worth. Eliminate your choices as much as you can, especially when it comes to your personal life. I know people who would wake up and spend 20 minutes thinking about what to have on breakfast and then another 20 minutes what to watch on YouTube while having the breakfast. I don't want to waste so much time and willpower and stuff that doesn't matter, so I have the same breakfast every morning and I choose from 3 sets of clothes every single day and I spend my time doing stuff that actually matters and makes me happy. Number 4. Everyone is afraid. A lot of people tell me, your videos are awesome, you're so good, I wish I could be making videos like you. Only if I was as good as you, I would start a channel as well if I wasn't afraid. Do you really think that I was this good when I started? Of course not. In fact, I was afraid to be judged. Just go back and watch my first videos. The animations on my videos were absolutely horrible and my language was terrible. Putting out content where you could be judged by the entire world is something normal to be afraid of. But that's the difference. We're all talented and full of great ideas. The difference is that some of us acknowledge that fear and do it despite the fact that we are afraid and others assume that you should do it only when you're not afraid. The most important lesson I have ever learned is do whatever you're afraid of. Once you do it a few times, that fear either will go away or you will learn how to manage it. Once you learn how to fight your fears, you will start that business, you will start investing, you will start growing and you will never be in that desperate financial position again. 
Number 5. Don't work hard for money. If you're like most people, you grew up being programmed that you have to work hard for money. But working hard alone will never make you rich. How do we know that? Take a look at the real world. There are millions, no, make that billions of people who slave away working their tails off all day, even all night long. Are they all rich? No. Are most of them rich? No. Are a lot of them rich? No. Most of them are broke or close to it. On the other hand, whom do you see laughing around the country clubs of the world? Who spends their afternoons playing golf, tennis or sailing? Who spends their days shopping and their weeks vacationing? Rich people. People who do not work hard but let their money work hard for them. That's how you become financially independent. Yes, you do have to work hard for your money. For some people, this is temporary. But for most people, it is permanent. So the goal should always be in your mind that you're going to make and save enough money that will keep earning you money while you're playing golf. If you have enjoyed this video, you will most definitely enjoy this custom playlist that I have created specifically for you that could potentially change your life. And now, it's time to give this video a thumbs up that it deserves and make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to check out our second channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.